If you've heard anything about Teslas, you've probably already heard about the sentry mode and dash cam features as well. Basically, you can plug a flash drive into the car and get recordings from all the different cameras around the car. It's super cool, it's super useful, and it's really easy to get set up. You just need a flash drive, a Windows or a Mac, and about five minutes of your time. Let me show you how to get everything set up and going. All right, so before I jump into the computer, just real quick, I wanna make one quick note about the drives you use on your Tesla. So the Sentry mode and dash cam features will work on either just a regular old USB flash drive or a portable SSD. But one thing to keep in mind is that you don't wanna skimp on the quality of your drive. Not only is the car constantly writing to these drives are gonna get used pretty heavily by the dash cam and Sentry mode features, but if you skimp on the quality, you're most likely going to have a failed drive. And the last thing you want is to be able to recover video off of your car car and not have it be there because the drive was cheap and just failed. So I got a couple of recommendations I'm going to link down below from Amazon. I've got some portable SSDs. I've got some flash drives, all at varying price points and varying capacities, depending on what you want. So check out those links down below and make sure you got something really good for your Tesla. All right, so I'm going to start first on Mac OS and then jump to Windows next. So go ahead and throw the flash drive into the computer that you're going to want to use and make sure you have everything off of it because once we format this for the car, there is no getting it back. Once you are sure you are good, come up to the upper right hand corner, click that magnifying glass. We're going to type in disk utility, kind of what I just had open there, disk utility. And then in here, we're going to want to select the drive we want to use. So in this case, it's this USB flash drive. And we're going to want to er click erase and give it a name. I'm going to call it Tesla here. And for the format options, we're going to want to use MS-DOS FAT. FAT32 on Windows, FAT here on the Mac. It's kind of a, a Windows protocol here to be used by the car. Um, so give it a name, make sure it's MS-DOS FAT, and then click Erase. Take just a second here. And we got that green check mark. We are good. We can click Done. We see the drive here is named Tesla, and we've got all roughly about 32 gigabytes ready to go. Uh, so next, just go ahead and double click and open up the root folder of your drive here. And we're going to create a new folder. Just right click hit new folder. And just where we're gonna wanna call this here, Tesla cam, all one word, case sensitive. So capital T in Tesla, capital C in cam, Tesla cam, hit enter, and that is it. For the Mac, that's it. Come down here to the name of the drive, click that eject button to safely eject it from your Mac. And now you're good to head down to the car and make sure it all works. All right, so now I'm on Windows, and the process is pretty similar to the Mac, though there are a couple of differences. One of them I do want to point out is that if you have a drive larger than 32 gigs, there are a couple of extra hoops you have to jump through on Windows to get that drive formatted with the correct size and space. Uh, I'll leave some links down below. There's a couple of tools with the command line and some free apps that'll do kind of the same thing, uh, though it is a little bit trickier than on the Mac. So it's something to keep in mind. So check out those links below if you want to do that. In my case here, this is just a 32 gig flash drive. So I can do this right from the Windows Explorer and built-in menu. So go ahead and click the drive on the left to select it. Come here to drive tools and then click on format. And it's again, pretty similar and simple. We're going to click on FAT32 for our system file system. We're gonna use, uh, you can use 16 kilobytes. I usually just use the default allocation size and then give it a name where we got this. Well, let's call this uh, Tesla Dash. We'll just call this the Tesla Dash cam here. So can give it a name. It really doesn't matter, honestly. Tesla Dash. Quick format is fine and go ahead and click start. Click okay to make sure you are good to wipe this drive and give it some new life. And uh, now we've got the format complete. Tesla is ready to go on drive E. All right, now we've got one last step, one last thing to do here in Windows. So go ahead and select the drive again in the file explorer. It's, it should be all clear, all free, because it's newly formatted. And you're gonna wanna right click and then select a new folder here in the root level directory. And we're just gonna do the same thing again. Name it Tesla Cam, capital T in Tesla, capital C in Cam. Hit enter, all one word, and that is it. We are good to go. So now we can go ahead and just right click and we can eject this drive and let's head down to the car and get everything ready to go. All right, so I apologize in advance. A little dark in the Tesla. I'm in a parking garage and I'm using the Tesla screen to kind of illuminate my face. So I look a little more ghostly than normal, so I apologize. But I got in my case, my little spare SSD here. I've got my USB-C to USB-A cable. I'm ready to go. Let me show you where to hook it up and what you got to do on the screen to get this all ready to roll. All right, so to make sure Sentry Mode is on, go ahead and click the car icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, then go to Safety and Security, 
and then just make sure sentry mode is switched into the on position. You'll notice in my case, I have home excluded, so you'll see it's kind of a black orb because it's not, it's not armed, it's not ready to go because I'm home and I don't want to waste space on the drive. Uh, but uh, make sure that is switched on the dash cam. There is no special kind of toggle in this system As soon as the car detects the drive and it's in the proper format you'll, you'll see a little pop-up in the upper right hand corner of the screen showing you dash cam is ready to go All right, so right under the center console here. You'll see two USB ports You can use either of them doesn't matter which one you choose to use I've got a, a nomad wireless charger through that's why I kind of have this weird kind of splitter thing going on but just plug your drive into any of the USB slots down there, either of the two, and as soon as you plug it in, make sure you take a look at the upper right hand corner of your screen. All right, so I'm going to connect my drive into the car, and if all goes well, we should see a dash cam icon pop up right in the upper right hand corner there, next to the sentry mode icon. Give it a few seconds, oh, and there it goes. So we've got the little uh, dash cam icon there with the red, it means it's recording and ready to go. And if we want to save a clip, so let's say we're driving and something just happened, we want to save, go ahead and just give it a tap. You'll hear a chime. You'll see the little downloading indicator to show that it's saving that clip to the drive. Little green check mark and you are good. The clip has been saved to a secure partition. You're done, your footage is safe, and the car is still recording. All right, guys, and that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. I try to answer every question I get in these videos. Also, if you guys like this video, be sure to thumbs it up. It really does help, and I appreciate it.